Yo, 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 what is up? What is up, man? Hey, you know what time it is, man. Send tells and tell live on Facebook. Hey man, overreaction Monday. Hey man. And we in here, man. I got my manhood, John. It's amazing how you go from the penthouse to the outhouse. Because last Monday we did this show. This man was coming off this emotional victory on Saturday. He cowboy going on Sunday. And then, hey, seven days, man. That's sports for you right now. That is sports. Welcome to Centel's Intel, the hottest sports podcast in the South. The best damn sports podcast, period. Welcome in here. I'm your host, the sensational Centel Wyman. Like I said, I got my man who's John with me. But hey, we got an empty seat. That must mean we have a guest. But you know, I it's a first time guest, so I gotta give him a proper introduction. Hey, my man, C Town, another one of C Town Savages, uh, very sports knowledgeable kid, um, big Carolina fan. He liked the Panthers and the Carolina Gamecocks, so he's keeping it all the way eight six four, all the way, all the way eight six four eight oh three eight four three. Hey, he keeping it live. He keeping it live. Uh, my man, Zoe Patterson. King of Flatwood. Come on up in here, home, boy. What's going on? What's going on? Fellas? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing? 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 How you Hey, keep up the good work, man. Thank we y'all love for y'all support, man. We love. Love. Not for our support, but thank y'all for y'all protecting us. Keep it up. All day. Hey, man, we love our military. Um, Shout out to my company in first quality. Recognize me as a veteran today. I love this shirt. So yeah. um, thanks to them for um, supplying me with this. But hey, welcome into the program, man. What a weekend of college football it was. NFL as well. Uh, we got big games from, from last week to this point on now. It's just huge college football games. Playoff type making games. Um, that was only nine one or less lost teams in the country right now. And guess what? That's gonna change by the end of the weekend. We got three huge games coming up this weekend. We'll talk more about that on Thursday. But this is overreaction Monday. That's mean we'll talk about what we have Saturday and Sunday. So um let's see. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn to my left and ask, um, what did you learn uh from the Saturday in college football? One thing I learned, hey. I just came on the show last week and screamed about these guys. I'm not a fan, but I'm starting to be a believer because they're getting that swagger back on their defense. Y'all give it up for the U, but the boys are showing some things, and I want to know how everybody in America going to feel if them boys go out there and beat them fighting Irish. Hey, what did you – I know it's tough Saturday for you. I, I, I feel it in your heart, but what, what did you learn on Saturday? It ain't got to be a good thing or a bad thing. What did you learn on Saturday? Well, that's a hard question, man. Hard cut to ask or answer. I learned a lot. I know one thing I learned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell y'all later and show what I mean by this, but you never miss your water till you're well on and dry. <laughs> I tell y'all what I mean on that later on in the show. Hey man, look, I was a, a few things. Number one, I learned that the big ten is done for us to make a team to get the playoffs. Um I know Wisconsin has a chance. But they have to go undefeated to get in the game now. They, they can't lose a game before the, the conference championship game. Otherwise, they are cooked. I think the Big Ten is done. That's what I learned on this weekend. I also oh, learned yeah. that Baker Mayfield is your high and trophy front runner. I mean, unless he falls on his face between here and the end of the season, he's going to carry home that stiff arm trophy. I also learned that Miami is not quite the fraud that I thought they were. I'm still not a believer. But they're not quite the fraud that I thought they were. So I'll, that's what I learned this weekend. Boy, it's picky, man. Hey, we're going to start with our – look, playoff, you know, committee. They'll uh, release their um, top um, four teams tomorrow. But, you know, we always day before that. So we go ahead and do our top six. And as soon as we release our top six, we'll give you why. Live would be open because this is overreaction Monday. This show is for you to call and talk about your team, the club playing about your team, to gripe about your team. I could spend a whole damn hour grabbing my team, but I would refuse to 
that you know what? I don't want to put you people through this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I had been, I was with my boy this weekend, but we went out there and was dog food this weekend. I, I'm not gonna do it. Right. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's all right. George number one. All right, we'll get to the we're gonna we, okay. We're gonna get to that in a few minutes, but let's 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 get our top six out the way, and then we'll take questions, comments, phone calls, do all that good stuff. Um, drum roll, please. Top six for me, and it got a little shuffle in it. A little shuffle this week, last week, you know, you'll know the difference. At number six, I had the Oklahoma Sooners, fresh off of one of the most ridiculous games I've ever seen. It looked like a man game, 62 to 52 over Oklahoma State in Bellum, which was completely Bellum. Um, <laughs> my man Baker Mayfield threw for almost 600 yards. So I have Oklahoma at six. I have the Clemson Tigers at five, your reign defending national champions. Tough road win against NC State. Uh, they didn't play their best game, but anytime you can go on road in the conference, um, get a win. That's good. That's good. They got the one loss. At four, I had the Wisconsin Badgers again. You're undefeated. The schedule is what it is, but you're undefeated. So, got to give them credit to that. And at number three, Who the you Miami that? Hurricane. At number three. Um, look, I would, I, I still think that, that I still think they're not a championship contender, but I ain't going to call them frauds. They have beat six teams in the top 50, and they actually played a real team this past week. They do head to ten, head to ten points. Uh, did a good job. So I got Miami at three. At number two, I have Bama. Could have moved them to one. They did a good LSU team, but I'm not that impressed with LSU. So Bama at two. And at one, I got the Georgia Bulldogs again. Um, a very professional business like win on Saturday. Uh, just a workman like win against South Carolina. You know, tough rivalry, but hey. November is about surviving in advance. It's just like the damn so, NCAA tournament basketball. Survive in advance. So that's my top six. I'll turn it to my cohort, Hood Joel. Give me your top six. Let it just go. Damn. Well, we know we was in it last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, boy, but my six, I think I got a six on my list. I got Miami six right here. Only because, like, you know what I'm saying? He, like, like, they already said, they, I'm starting to become a believer, so I can't really raise much that high over yeah, Clemson, or Alabama, or Georgia yet. But I'm a, I got them six. <laughs> My five is Oklahoma. That ain't changed right now. Four, Clemson. Three, Notre Dame. Two, Bama. One, Georgia. The only other two. That's my six right now. Okay. Well, your six. Oh man, my seats, man, look like it's almost an all ACC, ACC thing. <laughs> what well, a you know, Notre Dame, I got them boys, you know, still right there. I, I say, I don't see much of a change right now in my top six, but I think I do might have Miami right there, even though they have been getting, getting snowed the last couple of weeks, not moving. A couple of teams lost, but you know, they doing what they do. But I take, you know, Oklahoma six. Uh -huh. Uh who I got at five. I might have Notre Dame five. Let's see who I go four. I leave Clemson at four. Mm. You, you I think I might have missed one. You fight hard about Miami. that. Yeah, yeah. Miami. You probably gonna put Miami at three and Georgia out of Bama. Yeah, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia's still number one. I still got Bama two. I leave my I leave Notre Dame three. I ain't gonna be hard on the five. Because, you know, the independent, they ain't got much to, to, to prove to nobody. But they, like you said last week, they are a brand. And everybody want to see a brand team play. Right. And, you know, I think I have Clemson at four. Might got Wisconsin at five. And with that loss with Oklahoma, this, that win with Oklahoma this weekend, I might have knocked them down a little bit. But, you know, I still believe Baker Mayfield going to take them boys far. So yeah, Oklahoma's your six. Oklahoma's six. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Y'all, I'm gonna enjoy that one. All right, All right. Pretty rough. All right. that's our top six. Y'all coming with y'all top six. Call in with your top six. Live and not open. Also, go to my Twitter page and ask. So my Santel's and Tail poll question of the day, which was, who is the best one loss team in the country? Clemson, Oklahoma, TCU. Um, I miss somebody. Notre Dame. And Notre Dame. That was the question earlier today. Go on my Twitter page um, and choose, and I'll get results later. Uh, hopefully, at the end of the show, I have.
some a lot of folks. So if I have a lot of folks, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even worry about it. Right. Hey, get your opinions in. Eight six four three seven eight five nine four three. Eight six four three seven eight five nine four three. This is overreaction Monday. I need to hear from you people. I need comments. I need phone calls. And we'll dive into some other stuff as we go through this program tonight. Um, eight six four three seven seven eight five nine four three. I had a question about the Jacksonville Jaguars being contenders. Um, um, two weeks ago, I had my number eight in my NFL power rankings, which will be coming Thursday. I had my new NFL power rankings. Um, that's be a contenders. Um, can the playoffs? Absolutely. Um, am I ready to put them in the AFC Championship game? Not, not quite yet. I like them. Love the defense. The defense is absolutely style and keeping it. For that thing good, but he missed the game last week. Already getting in trouble. So I'm worried about for that. But the defense is where they're going to make their Hey, uh, Glass County was one of the hugest pickups in free agency. Um, a boy, yeah, cornerback, Ramsey, uh, Dante Fowler Jr. Um, the linebacker from Florida State came in the night hand, he just got paid. That <laughs> defense is absolutely just loaded. Uh, they first in points allowed. They, they'll yeah. have um, they have a playoff, I, I say it was a playoff team, but contender to me, I say contender, AFC Championship, he's Super Bowl. They can't have yeah. either, either one of them because you know who your quarterback is. I don't need to remind you who your damn quarterback is. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars, contenders to you, contenders. I go here right first, Jason Bill. Pretenders, pretenders. Defensively, right now they look like a, you know, they, they should be mentioned. I ain't gonna say they're contenders, they should be mentioned right now. Yeah, they mentioned. I agree with that too. Because they did be a good Pittsburgh team. Yeah, they did. And Robert, Pittsburgh be Robert. who I thought, well, I didn't think they were the best team. A lot of people thought they were Kansas City mm-hmm. was the best team at the time. Absolutely. So Absolutely. they in the discussion. So I mean we like them. Um uh, we're not going to talk about soccer. Line. We're not doing that today. Um, <laughs> we, no, we're, we're not doing that. Um, let's go to some of these games over the weekend, but you know, in depth a little bit. Um, let's start with a crazy weekend, too. Man. Bama, LSU, 2014. Bama, um, not a, like I said, I was not impressed with Bama. They only had 299 yards with the offense. Um, uh, LSU actually held the ball longer. Um, then, um, uh, Alabama lost both star linebackers. Um, Mac Wilson and Sean Hamilton. They go along with they lost Christian Miller in the first game of the season against Florida State. Uh, just wasn't impressed by Alabama. I mean, they got to win. It's all about winning right now. You yeah. win, you're going to get in the playoffs. So, uh, was it impressed? 2014. Uh, did you catch it in the Bama LSU game? You did. Any thoughts on it? If not, I'll go with him. Do you kind of, did you have that call? I caught first quarter. I kind of looked at it like 14 3. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't too much of a difference from the Carolina Georgia game. It was like almost the same thing. I'm but listen, like, listen. But you eat this, y'all. The same, I know we ain't this all subject talking about sports, but the same thing I look at them, but it's about the same reason, you know, we would look at it like a LeBron team in the E. You know, they're going to be there, though, no matter how they play. So, I mean, I guess you, I mean, I guess you, at the end of the day, they haven't been tested. So you don't really get to see the best of them. Yeah, but no. I'm worried about these linebackers. You lose three linebackers, that's that's huge. You start playing against teams like Clemson and some Notre Dame who can run the ball, George who can run the ball, and you're not having these three linebackers. Like Could it hurt you, but, again, it's Bama, so yeah. we let them kind of slide out. Yeah, so yeah you got to let it slide, but you got to understand the recruiting class, the recruiting class that they have, <laughs> and the dip they have in the linebacker spot. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, really that's a good that's argument. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah, good. You know, you get saving a day to think about something, man. He'll bring something out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Um, yeah, again, number 864-378-5943. This is Overreaction Monday. This is Santel's Airtel. You know who I am, the sensational one. It's got to my, my right hood, Jones. Got my left, the first timer. Uh, my man's old Patterson, King of Flatwood. He's in the building. Yes, uh, yes. We all in here. So, hey, if you want to. You know, call in, comment. Hey, this is over hey, man, This is your show. Give us this is your show. See, my Thursday is my all show. Thursday is my show. I got my sucker of the week. I got real news, fake news. I mean, I got I got my power ranking. So it's my show. Today is your show. So let's, let's move on to some other game. Um, uh, USC, Arizona. I know it's a late game. Many of y'all didn't see it. But um, I, I don't want to talk about the game. USC won the game. But yeah. I really want to talk about the quarterback from um, Arizona. This guy named Khalil Tate. Man, he's – I don't know if you know Khalil Tate. 
stay up sometimes and watch Khalil Tate. This guy is sensational. Yes. Um, he, he threw for 100 points in the yard. He ran for 161 and two TDs. I mean, just sure. look him up. He's outstanding. Um, the the game is not too shabby. Either. Yeah, they got a good running back. Um, but um, uh, USC won the game. Speaking of running back, Jones, running back for USC, had 194 yards rushing. So he was impressed with three TDs. So he was impressive. Um, let's go on to that. Basketball game. Oh, it was a football game. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I was watching. I, I, I don't even know where to begin with this. Baker Mayfield, 24 of 36 for 598, 598 They had 785 yards with a total offense, hit about 35 minutes. Not to be outdone, Mason Rudolph goes 28 of 54 for 448, 5 TDs. They have 61. Did you repeat that again? He went what? 28 or 54. He threw 54 passes for 440 yards and five TDs. Uh, team combined well over 1,300 yards with offense. I mean, 1,400 yards with offense. Just absolutely attract me. Yeah. Um, you sure but you I, know Jackson went out there on the field? I, no, it was not. But yeah. um, it's the keys numbers he put up last night. My yes, my my guy who my guy Wentz Woods come here a lot. He loves him some Baker Mayfield. So I, if he was here, he'd be streaming his head off about Baker it's Mayfield. Like about Baker Mayfield yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, he's just, he's a front runner right now. <laughs> but um, yeah. Any thoughts? Like, did you catch it in the Oklahoma Oklahoma State game? Oh, I, I just cut the I just cut the highlights up, man. I just seen it was <laughs> no really. I think it was no defense for really the No, I mean, absolutely not. not. <laughs> I believe Cam Fowles might win my day in school with a thirteen play. Mm. <laughs> I, I might go that far, but hey, anything you take away from the Oklahoma, Oklahoma, I'm not taking track me. Don't do track me. I'm going to say this and I'm going to say because I ain't really watched Oklahoma play this year outside the game when they played. Uh, I thought for a long, you know, for the minute, you know, maybe they was just day and night or whatever, but that's a good offense. That's a good team. And their defense ain't all that bad. You know, they made, they made plays down the street, you know, when they were needed. But I'm going to say this for Blake Baker Mayfield, who I thought you were. You a better player. <laughs> you will. He's yeah. a real deal, man. He ain't got good, man. He, he got definitely good. He's a good, good player. He's definitely my high front runner right now. He just he's sensational. Uh, but they got a huge game this week. And we'll talk about that more on Thursday. They get TCU at home. So another huge game in the Big 12. Um, some big, like I say, every game from now is, is huge for its playoff implications and all that other good stuff. Uh, we'll get to the local stuff in a few minutes. Let's stay nationally. Um, we're not going home thing. Oh man, I, um, let's talk about um Ohio State and Iowa. Um, <coughs> excuse me now. You know, lad, we got to come in here and eat my words because I'm like JT Barrett, biggest critic. Everybody know I hate. Nah, I'm not. I dislike JT Barrett. But lad, we got to come in here and eat crow because because he threw for all the yards. Lad, we can rush for all the yards. Let them all huge to throw Penn State. <laughs> And then the real JT Barrett, just like the Eminem song, with the real JT Barrett, please stand up. And sure enough, on Saturday, he showed up for interception, soul crushing interception. Iowa crushes Ohio State 55 to 24. Nathan Stanley, 20 of 31 for five TDs. 487 yards the high guys put up. Just an absolute dump truck. Um, mm-hmm. I'll throw with you first. I'm gonna let him get his start together. No, let him go you to wanna, I don't want to say this is fine. My um, trash already. just uh, what the hell happened? I mean, Look at was you face. too? Was you overconfident? Did you go in? I mean, what happened to Ohio State, sir? Man, be on, be on. Me and a couple of people who sitting now watching this game. And I looked up like, man, it's 17 0. What's going on? And then it hit me. <laughs> it hit me. Well, it I know what the problem is. I think we ran out of gas last week. We did too much in that Penn State game. You think you ran out of gas? I man? think we did. I think <laughs> we ran out of gas. So that's, think- that's the simpler I can put it. We ran out of gas. We ain't who everybody <laughs> thought we were. So you think you put, you think you put a lot of, so you think you put a lot of stock into that uh, Ohio State game too much. And, um, you just didn't come prepared. I, I mean, I'm gonna try to give you a bit of a doubt, but it, it's no excuse for what and no excuse for what happened. Um This is all on the quarterback though. But it, then again, you know, it's a team sport. Defense, y'all didn't play that good neither. 
Y'all ain't play that good. Yeah, but JT know. Barrett didn't give you a chance, though. Because we made stops in the game. He never gave us a chance. Yes, but hey, they never gave y'all the field position that JT Barrett strive on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so they go both ways. The long drive. He's, he's, y'all score a lot off the long drives, but when somebody can stop that, it changed the whole game. For y'all. Um, no more so Le'Veon, uh, LeBron James Anderson, I know him as Fubu, asked, really, how good is Clemson? Um, I think they're mm. really, really good. They're banged up right now in the secondary. They play a lot of young guys. Yeah. Uh, one thing they did Saturday that you don't see from Brent Bell, they put a lot of zone um, to try to help those young corners and yeah. safeties. They they didn't play back because they didn't play well at all. Um, Kelly Bryant seemed to be degress- um, uh, regressing um, mm. from the early weeks when he was throwing the ball a whole lot better. This week he goes – Zero of ten for passes over fifteen yards or more down the field. That can't continue to happen. Um, but up front, they can still get to the quarterback. They can still stop you from running the ball. Um, but um, NC State came out and played a hell of a game and took it to them. Remember, this is a revenge game for NC State. They felt like they should have won last year. Um, Ryan Philly looked played his best game I ever seen him play. Um, but again, Clemson healthy with all their horses. Kelly Bryant had to be better in the passing game. But as you can see. Who are they equals right now? Bama don't have much of a passing game. Right? Wow. Don't have much. Of a, Notre Dame doesn't have much of a passing game. Georgia don't have much of a passing they game. Sure. So I'm all of these, game. all of these quarterbacks are kind of limited in what they can do. So I trust the offensive line, D line of Clemson over a whole lot of teams. And again, yes. on a neutral field, healthy is Clemson and Bama to meet than everybody else. I'll pass that question to you. How good is Clemson? I think Clemson is good as they de- good as they defense gonna take them, man. Mainly, first and foremost, they secondary got to get back healthy, and you know, Kelly Bryant gonna do what he do. But you know, we gotta they well, they gotta keep that passing game going. Not a fan to get that out, but you know, <laughs> I represent for you, cause no hard feelings. <laughs> no, you gotta be. Hey, this show, yeah, we completely we completely uh, objective on this show. <laughs> I think Christian, Christian, they they do. I can't take nothing away from. Them. I can't Dang, take nothing away from. Them. Good. And you know, I think them boys should get that. They got what's that? ETN. ETN should get more. And chemistry. what's the guy that running Swain Spiller on? Feaster. I think they should run them boys a whole lot more to save Kelly for later on in the season. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree with that. You, you, how good is Clemson? I mean, he just took it from me. Clemson is good as them three boys right there. <laughs> he just, we go, you only need Deion Kane, you know, when you get downfield of him and Hunt. Nah, and the, oh, Hunter Winfrey and all them boys. Bro, yes, boy, they, you know, I like, I like Kelly Byrne and Feast and ETN. Them, them the three right though. Yes. Uh, you need all three of them for success. Now, whether that defense is good too, but, you know, I've seen a game. I, I don't know what game it was, but it was a game, you know, with defense ain't look that good. I don't know if it was the Auburn game or the game after that. Well, no, it was a game they didn't look good, but all three of them played an excellent game. Yeah. I mean, you're you going to have games where you're up and down, but yeah, yeah. once again, when the money on the table, like Clemson, Clemson, when the money on the table, the talent going to win out, and Clemson and Alabama are probably the most two talented teams in the country. So at the end of the day, uh, they may lose again. Like I say, Clemson may lose again. Bama may lose. But to me, at neutral field, those are the two best teams. They just lose out. You know, but I agree. That could that could happen. Uh, we'll, stay na- we'll, stay, we'll stay nationally, and I'll give you the local team in a minute. We talked about Ohio State loss, which was a crippling loss to the Big Ten. But then Penn State turned around and lose to Michigan back, State back. Um, after a three and a half hour rain delay. Uh, they come out. Penn State doesn't look like easy sales. Zaquan Barkley for the second week in a row gets held in check, 14 carries, 63 yards. Uh, Taking solid play, where we threw three interceptions. Uh, and this guy from uh, Michigan State, Brian LaHerr, he throws for 400 yards. I, I, 400 yard Michigan State passing. So Big Ten got hurt by that. Um, any thoughts on the Penn State Michigan State game? Yeah, you should, you should check out it. And Frank, Penn State are starting to make me think, man, was them guys serious from the beginning or was it just all a joke, man? It got me thinking right now because everybody's stacking their boxes, forcing man. Barkley to do something, and the secondary is. It looked bad against they it looked bad against the state. They were getting but bad. The money down. We can't get off the field on the money down. Can't get off the field third down. Is, that's that's the call for a lot of the stuff. Yes. They could offensively and defensively. The money down, they've been poor. Oh, to man. say the least. You got thoughts on PSA. I wanna speak on this so bad because 
Talk about it, brother. Man. <laughs> Get your cup, bro. I, I, after that law right there, I'm really, I'm really more hurt from that law than us losing the hour. Because for some reason, I had always, me and Josh had talked about us, you know, you know down there at the um, Baba Suha last week. I had told him, I knew we were going to lose another game. I just ain't know who. I had figured Penn State was still winning out and get back in it. We all thought, we all thought, thought Penn State was really good. That truth be told, this game, the game I thought we were going to lose, I had, well, I think we need this game now this Saturday. That's the game I thought we were going to lose, Michigan State. That was the second game. I had other lose. Well, I we think we were going to lose that game, but we, you know, we lost a week ahead. Hey, hey, guys, I have a question. And then the I want to say this right here because I ain't, I ain't hear nobody say nothing about this team, though. Know, you know, and, you know, they had a bad loss to – Time to go. So, uh, Notre Dame or whatever earlier this year, they lost by 30 or whatever. I got it. I got it. Go ahead, but I'm going to say this right now. Why ain't nobody got Michigan State in their top six or whatever? They beat Michigan. They not Michigan out the top five, not Penn State. But, you know, you know, game started 12 o'clock. Even though the game ain't in the 8 o'clock, well, they, they might have threw momentum off of Penn State right now. But, you know, that, you know, you, it's college football. Yeah. Both teams had to deal with it, so it ain't all that bad. And I thought Penn State was the better team, but I don't know. I don't know you way. know me. I was high on Penn State at the beginning of the season. I, I was I went super high on Penn State. From the beginning, I called them. I said, my playoff team, so they win the Big Ten. I'm kind of like you. I knew Ohio State. Even when they beat Penn State, I said, Penn State's good, good. They, 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 they beat them by one. Good. On the road, and I mean, that's how you lose one by one on the road again. You led most of the way. I'm like, okay, Penn State's fine. Mm -hmm. Then they get beat by Michigan State like they did, like a drum. I, I, Big Ten is in so much trouble right now. Yes. Um, I don't, they just in trouble. Uh, Florida State can, can't be slept on. Yes, they can. I'm gonna take a complete nap on Florida State. They're gonna get their door Hold on, what we say? Um, of course, true facts comes in and says we Wisconsin is by far the most complete team in the league. Let me say one thing. Let me say one thing about the worst time. Let me say the one thing. Cause you know how I mean you don't had our problems over the year. You ain't played nobody this year. Yeah. <laughs> we Last are. year, the only reason y'all made it to the Big Ten championship, the only reason y'all made it, cause we lost to Penn State. We on the same side. If I ain't mistaken, then you lose to the Michigan team. <laughs> Then you lose to Penn State. Man, okay. Then you lose to Ohio okay. State. We you lost the three best teams within the first seven games last year. Y'all did the right thing, not put all the whole schedule this year. Um, they didn't lose all. You, you, you had it right. They lost three, but they lost to Penn State. Yeah, yeah, Penn State. Penn State. But they lost to they lost to Michigan and um Ohio State. And we know this schedule has been a complete joke. We we all know this. <laughs> but you um, right? He right? No, I, guess I don't. You can say I'm, not gonna call, I'm not going to call. I'm not going to call the most complete team because they no. haven't been tested to be complete team. I don't think they complete. Um, passing game is not as uh as explosive as it needs to be. They just lost maybe their best receiver over the weekend. I forgot the kid's name. Mm -hmm. Um, Hunter Brook is limited at best. Um, they're not complete. They they're not the most complete team. The big team to me. Um, mm -hmm. they record said that it's most big yeah, team looks good. But then the Big Ten West, they haven't played any of the best team from the East. Who in the Big um, Ten West got four wins? Five, yes. Northwestern got five wins, I believe I'm not mistaken. But their best wins is Northwestern and Florida Atlanta. <laughs> That's their best wins. It's good wins. Now look, it's gonna get look, they're gonna get able chance to earn their right. Because guess what? They play Iowa this week at home, they get Michigan at home, and then the Big Ten championship. So they're gonna get to earn their right. Yeah. But right now, they are they 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 now know they beat all the struggle they schedule. They did they're supposed to do, and we're up five about Wisconsin sooner than later. But right now, I'm not going to sing the praises of Wisconsin and one of their best wins of Northwestern and Florida Atlantic. Anything mm -hmm. you want to add to that? I want to add nothing to it. Why do you want to ask y'all a question? Again, Illinois. Who are y'all more of a believer, of, Wisconsin or Miami? Hey, that's I, a good question. I, I was, shout out to you, the only. <laughs> true fact, you the only Wisconsin fan I ever know to live down here. So I respect that's true, you for a lot. That's true. That's true. You only can beat the team that's on your schedule. That's a, that's a, that is a great question, man. <laughs> if, don't think I ain't be biased in that. No, 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 that's true. I can't be biased in that. If it comes out of Miami, Miami and Wisconsin, who the best? Who, who the best out of those two? I mean, who, who you more believe? Who you more believe? Like the song Imagine Dragons. Yes. Make me a believe. I gotta go with the most consistent team. Who's, so the, who's most the most consistent? consistent? 
for the eye test, but get the numbers in the ranking. I gotta go to Madison, test. man. Okay. I gotta go to Madison. He's a big ten guy. He's tired of the more consistent. Okay, I'm not knocking you. That's me probably give y'all the likes. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> like the song with Magic Dragon say, make me a make me a believer. A Miami yeah, made me a little believer. Coach. We think they play a real team. So I'm more believer of Miami. I do not think both either one goes undefeated, but I'm more believer of Miami. Mm -hmm. Uh who, since you asked the question, who are you more believe? My, I hey, guess you call I'm in. Man. Fan, but but hey, keep calling in, man. <laughs> I'm a fan of your boys, man. Y'all look back, Dizzy. Y'all boy, hey, I'm hurting myself for throwing it up. <laughs> y'all look back. Y'all, <laughs> y'all boys, back. Right hey, now. man. Eight, I, I wore this black shirt just for my hands. <laughs> eight six four three seven eight five nine four three. Overreaction Monday. Eight six four three seven eight five nine four three. Call in, man. Um, comment right here what you're doing right now. Hey, talk about the team the weekend. Oh, um, let's um, uh, we did now. We tell why it's true. Let's talk about the Miami Virginia Tech game a bit. Well. And why I'm not really believe Miami. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not is one word. The quarterback. <laughs> it was the only thing you can bring I'm up. not a believer. Um, he went 10 21. He threw three interceptions over the weekend. They did hold Virginia Tech over 299 yards, but the offense um, held them 102 on the ground, which they asked about 182. So I believe in the defense. But Rozier, they lost Walton. I'm just not buying this team. I'm not a believer, but like I said, they're not a complete fraud because they, they, had, they are 08 and 0, so not a complete fraud. But I thought it was a solid win against a, 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 a real football team. They yeah. played a real football so, team and yeah. having the 10 points. If Miami go out this week and have a clear win against Notre oh, Dame, how would you feel about them? Guys? I got to change my whole perception. They go out and beat my – they ain't going to beat Notre Dame and Notre Dame. Wait, Notre Dame didn't beat people down. Until last week, every win Notre Dame had had, they had beaten their opponent by at least 20 points. So if Miami go out there and beat them guys by seven – a convince, just convince you just com If you go out there and compete and you convince me and convince me win a game to know that on the road, I would be a believe. I would be a full believer. Yeah. But I don't believe in this guy. And against Notre Dame defense, I, hey. if he turns ball three times, they will get beat by three touchdowns. But it's a more crazy for them. Say you beat them, Notre Dame, just knock them out of the playoff run. Clemson better but watch Clemson, out. They better watch they out. They better not Clemson out. Clemson out. Then you they got all kinds of scenarios now. Is Miami good? No, it ain't good. I just said, like I said, it's only nine, one, or less lost team in the country, and more chaos is slim. We'll continue. Um, there may be a chance of two lost teams as it gets to the playoff this year, which I hope not. I don't see that. Which I hope not. I hope no damn wins. Because no damn wins, they're gone. They're they gone. They're 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 skip, but their schedule suggests so, too. I mean, they would have been Stanford, USC, um, Miami, uh, and they give a right team they play so far right except now. Except Georgia. NC State. Except Georgia. Except and they be so they schedule one them going to play out. Yeah. You can't call Notre Dame. It's about being Notre Dame. This is about your schedule. You beat Stanford, USC, um, Miami, and NC State, who all rank and really good teams, you deserve to go to play out if you yeah, have one loss. Um, but I think right. we can see – even I can see a scenario two teams from the SEC getting in or – Two lost teams get in the playoffs because that's how much carnage I think records is left because the schedule left set support. Auburn, Georgia this week, Ooh, you got true. huge games this week, implications abound in the playoffs. So you may see some damage. Speaking of Georgia Bulldogs, let's set we right. There's no one team in the country. Talk on the Carolina Gamecocks. I mean, you got a they had a big win this far the last week. They look forward to Auburn this week, so you kind of. I could see a letdown game coming, so I knew to take the 24 points on the card. Hope you did too. Um, Kyle and I always played Georgia tough, so 24 uh, 10. But Jake Fromm uh, was asked to throw the ball more than he yes. started, and he threw it 22 times. He completed 16 passes, 108 yards, two TDs, so yeah. he looked well. Cool. Um, yeah. Trevor Michelle combined for 36 carries, 183 yards. They also held Kyle in 270 yards, so the defense but, played well. Georgia looked like the number one team in the country. I, Hey, it's not November. Everybody's not beat. Beat. Everybody's hurt. Yeah. Everybody's beat up. We don't want to hear that. I ain't got no excuses. No George. excuses. Jordan was a better team, but a very workman like very workman like a um, victory over Cyclone. Um, you watch the game, obviously. What did you take away from Georgia performance? It's not to doubt their running game. Their <laughs> <laughs> running, running, running game is just. I vouch for Nick Children is the best running back in the land right now, even though he don't touch the ball twenty five times. Wow. No more. 
He don't know that. He don't. He don't touch the ball. That's what it's about. He might get the ball fifteen times this year, this season. He might get the ball fifteen times. I said it was five, thirty-six carries. I think he had twenty of them. They don't. They they're smart. Do they got three backs? Who comes in? The third down back, he's just as good as those guys. So they got fresh backs, offensive lines, a whole lot better than them before. Making so that game good. manageable, making that making that game more manageable for the quarterback. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. Almost through self passing last year, he could very very high on third down. Josh Adams. Josh Adams' name has popped up in the conversation. That is Notre Dame running back Josh Adams, who has just been sensational and has he's thrown good. himself in the high of the trophy race. Saquon Barkley has, Bark has fell down. John Adams has lifted up, so it's Mayfield to me, Adams is right behind yeah. him. So right now it's like a two band race. Uh, somebody else could emerge this week after he said a game. Maybe if Georgia wins out and, and Cho has some monster games against Auburn, monster game mm-hmm. against um Georgia Tech, a monster game against Alabama and SC Tech, he has a chance, maybe. Well, right now, I think as long as Cho just get a hundred yards, it's a monster game right now for the You need a month, you gotta have a monster game. People go like, how do y'all? He need a game like 180, 200, four touchdowns against Auburn and Alabama. If you got to have 15, don't have that. 415, that's a monster. And you got, guess who it? Bama? If you seen it by right now. I was trying to win that. He got to have a monster. 150 yeah. yards, not going to put that. He's not, he's not going to win high. But, but it's on the two man race right now. We all agree, Josh Adams and, and Michael Mayfield. Well, I'm saying it's there's two of the best winning back. But but why well, can't make well, it? He's not, he's not the best. He doesn't he doesn't get the the low. He, but the you got enough, But again, you got enough games left where you can make some statement type runs and people remember what happens in November. Remember what I told you. Yes. People remember what happens in November. Yes. This is the month where the house is won. This is the month where playoff teams decided. So I still think he got an outside chance. I think he's going to make this lose. He can blow up his weekend his own and have a terrible game. This is a good TCU mm-hmm. defense who played really well. So yeah, time, yes. we don't, we, you know, ch- you know, have him, make him make him and John Adams. That's one yeah. or two feet. I, I, I agree. But listen, you, know, you guys, like my case. since you play good defense, so yeah. great defense, yeah. the team, even they, all of that, long they only gave up 14 points. The cover is great. Mm-hmm. Who will Iowa State be earlier this year? Oklahoma then. Oklahoma. They scored 40 on them and beat them. Yeah. Um, also, on the, the rest of the top 10 teams, TCU, with the aforementioned TCU beat uh, t- uh, Texas 24 7, had seven points. Wisconsin over Indiana 45 17. And Notre Dame, we mentioned them, they won 40 37 over Wake Forest. So that's the rest of your top 10. Um, so that's where we are in college football. We'll talk about the big game coming this weekend on Thursday show. Uh, this, is rea- this is overreaction Monday. So Eight six four three seven eight five nine four three three seven eight five nine four three. Hey man, if you want to call in and gripe, if you want to call in and brag about your team, if you want to call in and talk about how bad your team is. Look, I can spend a whole second about how bad my team is, but I'm not gonna listen to you people. You deserve better, so I'm not gonna let you suffer and talk about how bad my Gators are. Matthew Harper, you're right. Let's let's that's a great segue to to my to the NFL. Let's talk yeah. about some, the NFL yeah. weekend a little bit. Um, speaking yeah. of, let's, let's start right there with the 19. Let's the 19. Oh, the Cowboy fan, call out the Eagle fan. Let's start right there. I had. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I know the Eagles are good, but. I, the what they did to Denver yesterday, fifty-one to twenty-three over the no-fly zone. No, the what? The no-fly zone. Well, the yeah. best secondary in the NFL. We all agree, right? Continue mm-hmm. to leave Harris. Yeah, uh, we we know the name. Yeah, big name. Crossing went shredded them. Four TDs, hundred and ninety yard pass. I'm not sure though. Um, they ran it all over. New, new running back, uh, Aj Aj. He had a touchdown, seventy-seven yard. Corey Clement had three touchdowns. Um, <laughs> Asher Jefferson had two. Wisconsin running back, uh, oh, running back, Miami Aj. Yeah, Aj. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, Ooh, the Eagles just love. Oh my, y'all guys, man. So the Eagles got to be in love without Zach Ertz too. I, and that's why yes, I was yes, like, yes, yes. there's no way they go like these boys like they did without, and they just did. Um. Carson Wentz is your league MVP so far right now. He's just sensational. 23 TV passes. He's just Until y'all pay that. And four picks. Nah, um, what Jerry Jones do to y'all guys, man? Any thoughts on the uh, Eagles yesterday? Any thoughts on Carson Wentz? The Eagles showed me that they are for real. They showed me they are for real. 
Oh, yeah. We're going to talk more about them when I release my power rankings on Thursday. That's a pretty good chance the Eagles may be number one. Just maybe. Pretty good Great. chance they be number one. Um, also, um, yesterday, another team put up 50, number one score offense in the NFL. The damn L.A. Rams dropped 50 against the Giants, who also have a great defense. Yes. I mean, Janora Jenkins, Langdon Palace, okay. Eli Apple, uh, uh, and they give up. Jared Goff throws 14 passes. I think it's time oh, to get rid of two players in that organization. <laughs> Gary Teddy, if you watch it, get rid of the coach <laughs> and the quarterback. Oh, <laughs> uh, Rams looked dominant yesterday. They dropped 51. I mean, this game was never even close. Robert Woods, two TDs. Um, <laughs> Ty yeah, Gurley. Ty Gurley. It's looking like the guy we thought he would look like out of Georgia. Yes. Uh, he's just a freak. He catches it. He can run it. I mean, he can do it all. Uh, Rams looked solid yesterday. Any thoughts on the Rams beat down on the Giants? Man. As bad as I want to say, Pitt, Burr, Yeah. It's the best team in football right there. The Rams. The Rams are the best team yet. Wow. Yes. 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 <laughs> I got my reason why I say that. The Rams beat. Well, I got one reason why I say that. It is all out the game. It's all out the Kansas City and Dallas game. 864-378-5943. It's all out the Kansas City and Dallas game. 378-5943. This man said the Rams are the best team in the NFL. Yeah. And who am I to argue? Thoughts on the Rams Giants game yesterday? Just the Rams, they, hey, they took me back to when I was like, ooh. Great show on turf. Turf. Man, I was thinking about it. Oh, my God. I thought, man. Hey, you thought Marshall Falk had walked through that, though? I thought Marshall Falk done got at least gained by at least 40 pounds and came back <laughs> to the NFL right now. Tory Ho, Isaac Bruce, I thought them got some. I got my little beginning thought. Let me take this phone call. Yeah, caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Marcus Banks, calling from New Bear right what's now. Going what's on? up, man? Oh, you have a question or a comment? I, was, I just want to join in on this Eagles conversation. Well, well join in on the Eagles conversation. The best team in the league right now. Number one in the NFC. Overall, no. best record in the NFL. Yes. That's true. A nasty front seven. Yes. Improving secondary. Yeah. Mm. Tell it to me. Tell it to me again. <laughs> mm. and, and I believe uh, Dahi just put us over the top. Are you, are you, say, are you saying Super Bowl or bus now? Definitely. Uh, at, at the beginning, I was thinking NFC Championship, and we were running to the Seahawks. Well, you know, we've been watching the Seahawks the last few weeks. The offense don't start up until the third quarter. They don't start it not at all. By the end, we're going to hold up 44 on them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm not impressed with Seattle. I didn't have them in my last power rankings. They probably won't show up on this week's power rankings either. They rely too much on Russell Wilson. Too much on Ooh. Russell Wilson. But um, anything else you want to add about your high flying Eagles? Well, Eagles, uh, we took care of some light work last week by the 49ers. <laughs> I, I just want to know your take on the 49ers state right now. <laughs> um, we are clearly rebuilding, but there was a glimmer of hope last week. The heavens opened up and sent us down a quarterback. And I don't know if the Sun Miss can play dead, but I know one thing. He looked the damn part. That Sun Miss looked the part. He looked good in that damn um, 49ers yeah. color last week. Jimmy G. So I don't care about CJ Bath going that look like trash yesterday because we have hope. There's hope now. I got Jimmy G, baby. So look for me in about two or three more years. I got a quarterback now. I like this. Well, team. Guys, hey, Demo, Demo. Go ahead. Let me ask you something about your Eagles then. Okay. <laughs> Do they want to see us again? What would they make us then if the team, the only team that beat y'all, we beat consensually is it? Cause you can argue they only scored one touchdown. I mean, you can't count the touchdown before halftime. What you got to say about Dak Prescott? What you got to say about Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz? They both play against Kansas City this year. Okay, well, let, let, let me tell you about the Cowboys. You know what the Cowboys <laughs> Y'all was at home, too. Y'all lost that game at home. Let, let, finish your thought, uh, Demo. Y'all exactly, are exactly who we talked about. Y'all going to look, look, look great, you know, for a few weeks. But you know, they y'all are an overhyped machine. You know, with all those games. And get disappointed again in the first round. <coughs> yeah, we lost to Kansas City. It was early. You know, Andy Reid. Andy Reid is an Eagles coach. Yeah. And, you know, nine times out of ten, the the um the mentor always beat his protege. Yeah, that's true. You know, look at Belichick. 
He got to be O'Brien every year. You know, he used to beat up on uh, Cornell and all those cats. <laughs> Stroke. They, they say last season college football. That's true. I, um, look, um, thank you for the call. I appreciate you. Keep watching, man. Keep calling in. Appreciate, appreciate you, it. Demo. Um, yeah, I told you. I appreciate you running me out the phone when I'm calling in. Hey, hey man, I gave you, I gave you ample time. I'll see you, big homie. <laughs> all right, we'll see all you around. Right. Take it easy, man. Right, you right there, homie. Um. Hey, you going? You know, Cowboy fans are gonna reject the notion that Eagles be the best team when they got the best record. So, uh, but uh, I'm around that dude. No, the Eagles are not the best record. The Eagles best team in the league, man. Right now, they are, they are absolutely on fire. The Rams got the highest. They, they got the most. They got the number one scoring offense. They lost one game either. They lost one game. Yeah, they lost the Seahawks. 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 The Redskins. But then listen. Um, eight six four three seven eight five nine four three overreaction Monday. We just had a guy call in by the Eagles. That's what kind of calls I want right there. Talk either talk bad about your team because it's overreaction. Because you either think your team gonna win the Super Bowl or win that championship, or you think it's just the worst team on the planet. I think have to think my team the worst team on the planet. Both of them were right behind me, but I'm not gonna talk about them because you people deserve better. I'm not gonna do that to you. Let me ask y'all this though. This is just between us and uh, the audience. <laughs> Who the best division in football then right now then? Well, you asked that question, you posed that question. I mean, I think it's a lot of deep uh, divisions. Um, the East can't be considered because they got the Giants so damn bad. The Redskins. That's one, but the Redskins will be great teams. Red Since you say the Rams, they beat Oakland, they beat Seattle. Three good teams. They they are good. So you want oh, so you want to throw yourself in that race? All three of them possible being a player. All three of them teams they don't want. And I don't they don't beat. The Redskins not making the playoffs. No, I'm talking about. Seattle's going to probably be in the yeah, foul. Yeah. The Rams probably will. And Oakland making their case now. By us being Kansas nah, City. Oakland ain't. That division. They beat Miami last night. I'm not going to throw, throw, throw the party for you. But they got NFC South. The leader of the division got three losses already. Nice, nice. Let me say we something. Let me, you know, I said what I was talking about. You know what I said? What, what, what I learned this so weekend, good. I learned that I was completely wrong about the damn Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I did have three teams coming out of the South Division, but it was Tampa Bay, Carolina, and Atlanta. Guess Thanks. what? Saints and Panthers, because Atlanta ain't making the playoffs, and Tampa Downs ain't making the playoffs. Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl hangover is freaking real. You want to say one? They cool, probably going to win it, though. Super Bowl hangover is real, and Atlanta only looks like a shell of themselves. We all right. told you guys Super Bowl hangover real, but I they bought in the whole squad and, and, and thought they were doing it. Terry Bradshaw, yeah. I think it with Terry Bradshaw and Mike Dick said yesterday by Atlanta situation. They still over there 28 3. Can't get over there. He, and he says real, whatever. Like, it's, it's real. real. And, and Mike Dick would describe something that happened with the Bears or some shit. Or uh, either what the team he played with or something, he would describe. But that's real, though, the Super Bowl hangover. That's real. They they still got that 28 3 in the back of their mind. They trying to get over it. It ain't been wet. You ain't, man. NFC South a bit. You can't get you over it. You ain't, man. You cannot get over the fact that. Yeah. You had a 23 uh, 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 you make it a case of best comps. I mean, division, you have to throw them in there because you can't count the Giants. No. They have a dude who can be going to have. Y'all got it all wrong. They have a one. I don't know who it's going to be, but they one of y'all going to be in there. The Saints and Rams probably going to be in there. You can believe that. That division will have two. Saints and Rams are in the same division. I mean, so, Saints and I don't want to see Saint, It's going to be Saints and Panthers in there. We know Philly going to be in there. So they're going to have two teams in there. Shit. Y'all yeah. might get out of that division. Yeah. Been on high Zeke. Nah, but if you don't win the division, it's gonna be tough because that wild card is gonna be really, really tough. Just kill all this out. You better hope we win the weekend. Well, hey, we doing what we got to do. Right now. We're playing y'all, the team, y'all division. We, right. That's the only thing that help y'all out. Because we get win. every win, y'all can get it being a Dallas Cowboy. <laughs> um, I guess we can make this. I guess we want some focus. I guess we are entitled to make this since we are officially midway through the season. Everybody has played at least eight games. We can make these. Crazy predictions right now based off eight games, but we have our right to change our mind. So, if you had a playoff prediction, uh, Super Bowl prediction, you want to give it as far as coming out the AFC, 
Super Bowl prediction. AFC and NFC participant. Not a winner. Just give me the two teams you think I'm gonna make the Super Bowl. Cause he wants a prediction. Don't think too hard. I'm not gonna think too hard. I'm, just I'm not gonna hold. I'm not gonna hold it against you because it's like I say, eight games this season. Well, you already know my Panthers can go back. They go back and face Brady one more time. So you got Panthers and Patriots. Patriots. What say you, Cowboys and Indy? Oh, my bad. What? I just got a little carried away. I know you say Cowboys. I know you say Cowboys, but, but I'm gonna be two teams <laughs> who really playing good ball, and you know. You go ugly, they young, but they ain't got nothing. I'm going to go with New Orleans, mm, what? New Orleans man. and I'm Pittsburgh. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see, and that's what I think. The killer beat. It can go. It can happen that way. I think Big Ben. Ben you got to be feeling. But you got to get feeling out of the run. I think I want to take New Orleans. I can't take kill. no quarterback away in one Super Bowl. Absolutely. I can't Absolutely. take that one. I like Carson Wood. I like Carson Wood. I like what the boy from the Rams, Jared, Jared Goff. I like Seattle. But like y'all say, they put too much on us. With. So I, I'm just take Drew Brees because he on another level right now. I got to. I like how he beat y'all. Be he how he beat y'all earlier this year. I, I thought y'all were playing good. I like how objective he was. Dude. You didn't say your power was a level. Hey, I thought I was the only nice. objective man on this damn panel. But thank you for New being a pick. No, I'm not going to pick New Orleans. I like um, New Orleans right now. I like I'm not going to pick. I can't pick the Rams or, or the Eagles. I can't. Um, I, I, I can't because I just can't. Um, so I guess that leaves me with um. <laughs> that don't leave that don't leave with the that don't leave with me that options, does it? Nah. Oh God. Oh, because I took out all the teams. So good. Oh, Tom Brady did yeah, like, the clip right now. Well, let me see. It's doing enough to hold his lead. Let me see. Yeah, that's what I say. It's kind of hard to go against Tom Brady. Nah, you going against Brady is going against Belichick. You can't do it. I just can't see for me. Zine master. You have to. It's, you got to crawl before you walk, right? Yes, yeah, true. So that's why I can't put the Rams in the Eagles in the Super Bowl because nah. you got to take your lumps first before you get to the Super Bowl. You just don't go from being a bad team one year to the Super Bowl the next. This it just doesn't happen. You get the playoff first. Work, you put in a little work. So it makes it like it's the same. The defense is so much better. They can run it. The Saints <laughs> look they the versus of Ted Ginn. Um, yeah, that one game. Michael Thomas. Um, so I do think that what. I can't buy into the Panthers. Cam is just too inconsistent for me. So let me get this. I, I'll go with you right now. So we can't hold this to us. I'll go Saints with you. I'll go with you. Yeah, Saints. That's a good argument. Um, I would take Pittsburgh, but do I do they play the New England Patriots? Because we all know if they play the Patriots, they play the Patriots <laughs> on the Patriots. So <laughs> I got a caveat. If I pick Pittsburgh, I they, that means they avoided New England in the playoffs. So yeah. I got Pittsburgh and Saints. It's their best bet to do but right they can't. Play, if they pay New England, they're not gonna win. So yeah. Pittsburgh second, I got Pittsburgh second too. So both two, I think the two of the teams playing best ball right now, outside of the Eagles, of course. So we got, we got, we got. They probably need some stuff to happen like Andrew Luck did for Patriots one year, beat them out. Oh, number eight six four three seven eight five nine four three eight six four three seven eight five nine four three. You said get to the Super Bowl. They hey they gonna play outside, but you said get to it. You didn't say winners. You didn't say nah, super who make the Super Bowl. So you're right. It's gonna be a minute after this year, but they got an indoor stadium, so it won't be outside. It just be cold weather. Um, nah, and then on top of that, bang, you quit saying it. <laughs> they gotta win. They gotta ring. <laughs> what they like, they be paying man, so you can't knock this Super Bowl anyway. Oh, um, and he had one of the best defenses that year. Um, get back to well. get back to Sunday. Um. NFL Cowboys had a big win over the Chiefs. Um, um, Cowboys starting to look like the Cowboys we expected to see all season. I picked them to win the division at the beginning of the year. Um, I still think they got a chance, even despite how good the um, Eagles look, because they can run the football. Yeah, they didn't run it. Those. They didn't run it. Weeks. They didn't run it yesterday well, but Dak made enough plays. Uh, Cole Beasley finally yeah, showed up. Cole Beasley showed up. Tariff Williams showed up. And let me tell you something. It's what I like about the Cowboys. They got two guys who can get to the damn quarterback. Irving and freaking uh, Lawrence. 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 Good. God almighty. They got he two guys. Them two guys, get. I think, gave me son Lee a lot of life in that defense side. I'm Absolutely. Taco Carden, too. I like they I like the defense that's more of a cover yes. two type and they play better from ahead, so you worry about them in behind. But um Cowboys were up. I thought they'd be a little bit, but I have going, I think 10, 6, 11, 5. I thought they're right on that course, but it's gonna take 12 and 4 to win the division now, because the Eagles are not gonna lose 
they're not going to lose four more games, so they won't get 11 5. So Kyle will have to get 11 5 to the Eagles. Tie. Lose, gonna be hard to the Cowboys to do it. But they play the Eagles two more times, so we shall yeah, see. We. Um, so um, the Cowboys Chiefs game, what was your takeaway from the game yesterday, Chiefs? And- Exactly what I thought. In my Lavoie, in my Lavoie ball, <laughs> exactly what I thought. <laughs> if I can call my dad, hey, shout out to my dad. Hey, Lavoie, you know what I'm saying? And my cousin, Jonathan, Lee Spider. Y'all know I told y'all, excuse me, three weeks ago when they lost to Pittsburgh. Kansas City was going to lose two or three more games. Yeah. Three more games. 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 Three and at the time, it was five and one. I mean, you talking about the Saints, man. Go see. This is where you need to study and do your homework. Um, Saints defense has been outstanding. They won oh, six man. straight. Now you go watch their defense. This is not your father's Saints defense. <laughs> this is not your uncle's Saints defense. This is today's Saints defense, and they are flying around making plays. They did not give up a bunch of points like you think they may be giving a bunch of points. So. And I trust Drew Brees. Life changing. You know, if they better instant the game, Saints and 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 and, and um, Eagles or anybody Saints, I'm taking Drew Brees away the quarterback you throw out there because he got the experience. I'm not gonna trust Jared Goff or Crossing Winston one of those type of games. Drew yeah. Brees has done it all. So give me the steady hand of the bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A proven winner. So that's why I would say the Saints right now. But you know, I like the Rams and Eagles. I just can't you gotta crawl where you walk. It steps to this. You don't go from being three and thirteen or four and twelve to going to the Super Bowl. It just doesn't happen like that. That's not the way it works. You make the playoffs first. You get beat a couple times, then you go to the Super Bowl. Or uh, you get beat one, then you go to the Super Bowl. But you, you, you. It's a process. You don't just get there. Um, you know. So, uh, but in the championship games, very lightly. I mean, one of these, in a, the Rams or the Eagles, very lightly. One of them gets to the championship game. So, um. That was the college action. I mean, NFL action Sunday. Uh, we have for a few more minutes. Hey, let's get some more phone calls in here. Let's get some more comments. Overreaction Monday. Santel Whitman in the house. Hood Jones. First time guest co host. Zoe Patterson. Flatwood Spine is in, yes, in the yes, building. So, um, hey, man, we in here, man, for a few more minutes. Uh, I know y'all guys want to go watch some Monday Night Football tonight. I am too. Um, yeah. So, Tune in for that, and then we'll be back. I'll be back Thursday. Um, you know what time is on Thursday. Yeah, we yeah. preview all the big games for the weekend. Auburn and Georgia, Notre Dame and Miami. Oh, I'm missing one. Somebody else is no you. It's another big game. Oklahoma plays TCU. So big game this weekend. We're going to preview. Centel Sucker of the Week. Um, real <laughs> news, <laughs> fake news. Um, NFL, Centel, Centel. NFL Power Rings. Thursday show, man. This show here for all you people. Overreaction Monday. Um, so 864-378-5943. Um, calls or comments. We we'll stay a few more minutes. Um, so 864-378-5943. Look, the market's blank. You can throw all the shade at the same. I thought they lost it. Now but they don't want six straight. But ever since the Saints beat the Panthers, they've been on a different team. They won a lot of Tampa Bay then. They've they been on a different They've been on a different team. They ain't lost since they beat up. They lost two divisions. They started the season though. off two off. Two losses, yeah. I think. Yeah, two, maybe three. Yeah. Two, two. They, 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 they start up with y'all. Six and two. They started the start season yeah, off with two losses. Yeah, they won one, two. Ever since they beat Kill in week three, they've been on. Yeah, you you can say they have played a lot of explosive offenses, but at the same time, how many explosive offenses out there? Who y'all don't play? I mean, we I did, y'all I say this is time out. Y'all say these boys are no fly zone, Denver, right? Yeah, it is. They're the same team. I watch Chevy Kelsey just destroy them Monday night last weekend. Well, yeah. same team. So, it's I mean, even though Philly scored their fifty points, well, it's it's one it, I know it's that's 20, what I'm saying. 20, even though Philly Philly scored them the points, on, is they, don't, they don't really <laughs> do that much. You don't know. He's a cowboy. He's gonna. Say I don't blame, and I don't blame. No, so, I'm just saying, like. I mean, I mean, no, it ain't even game. Like, you gotta look at it more to the game. Like, I, like you gotta look at this. Like, I mean, who had them with being this good? Denver we had we are all right at the time. We was like, had to that's not. This we, we, we know Denver to have nothing. I don't best to have that defense. But we all respect that defense, Super especially defense. that pad defense. With Super Von Miller on the, in that end, and you got a team to lead. You got Charles Harris Jr. Now missing one, Roby. 
Those guys are considered the three Shoot. best corners. Rattles, the, oh, those guys God, are God, considered the best damn secondary in the NFL and have been for the last two or three years. Yeah. Super so, Bowl caliber. The fact they went out there and threw a 51 against them, that's impressive to me. I yeah. mean, you can – I know offense, they stink. Trevor Simeon stink. But Oswald stink. They can't run the ball. Sign God, they, they, they – Hey, we're gonna we ain't, you know what we ain't even go there because every time I come to you on Sunday, I'm like, damn, ain't nobody gonna get that man. Really? Job. Like that's a joke. Really? That's a joke. This 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 shit, shit this shit y'all put on the field right here. It's better, it's better than better than Kaepernick. This, this shit right here. <laughs> if everybody is watching you two guys here, how many quarterbacks do y'all think in the league right now that's better than Cap? How many do y'all name that's better than him? They starting. Bruh, it look, let me tell you something. I say this all the time. It's 32, it's 32 teams. That's only about 16 to good to above average quarterbacks in the league. There's only four elite quarterbacks. And then you got about four more good ones. Second tier. And then it's above average. They have another league either average to below average quarterback. Yes. I'm still trying to figure out how is the NFL, you guys in the NFL will give Jay Cutler a job. <laughs> oh but now God. RG3 or Kaepernick. Man, well, I can explain to RG3. He I looks like he's, he's, he's damaged good. Yeah, Colin he's Cavanaugh threw 16 touchdown passes last four seasons. He's been to a Super Bowl. He's been to two inch touchdown game. Name one he's quarterback in the history who, who can do them kind of numbers and not have a job. You giving guys like Ryan Hoyer. You giving guys Jay like Ryan Hoyer. Jay Cutler. Trevor Simmons, a seven round pick from Northwestern. Really? What's with man? Ain't from Chicago. Mitchell Trubisky. They, how did this Chicago? How did they bail this man throw eleven passes? They brought, God. they brought Brock Osweiler so bad. bad luck, Brock Osweiler so bad he couldn't even be out Deshaun Kaiser for Cleveland, and he started last week. Just think about this. Ryan Fitzpatrick got a job. Just think about all this trash that's out here playing right now. It just sickens me. I Josh McCowan, quarterback for goddamn thirty-eight years old. old. I can go with just, just so far, but I'm not going to be Buffalo Monday night. I mean, Thursday night. We, are, we all know we all know what's going on. Caps getting white ball. We've been getting white ball. We're going to stay away from all that. That's crazy. We can talk about that all evening long, but we're not, we're not going to do that today. Yeah. Um, Lines are open. We're about to get out of here. We already reached my hour. Good God. Um, 864-378-5943. Any more phone calls or comments, I'll take a look. Number 15 is an average defense. You can win with a 15th ranked defense in the league. Because the, yeah, the, Eagle, the Eagles have a good, um, I think it's a rush defense, one of them. I can't remember when they really right high. But they give up some points. So don't, don't get caught. Go away scoring defenses there. I know they told defense 15. You were they do it from 20 to 20. Yeah. Can you get in the red zone? And I'm, I, 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 I know they write that. I know they spin scoring. They scoring with. 40, 50 yard touchdowns every time. Yeah. 30 yards. And I know you get in the play, you ain't gonna be able to do that. Yeah, I'm not just game. Game. No, because it's gonna get colder. And see, that's what's gonna happen. They play them Northeast teams, you're not gonna be able to throw the ball to the yard because you're about to have a running game because it's about to get cold. And that's another bad new Orleans got in the games at home. So they don't have to change their style up. Philly and them teams in the East Coast, they gotta change their style up because it's about to get cold. You better find a running game. Y'all better look up. Better find a running game. Be great. But um, I'm not, I like the East yeah, man. Man, I like the East. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, look, man, we all panel. We hit the talk and we commentate on what we see. Look, Eagles are really good. Everybody not gonna like that, especially a Cowboys fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm objective. I bet they're the best team league right right now. But we meet with them. Yes, yes, right. A lot of football to be played. Like, a lot of. You only got two games league. You haven't played Dallas twice yet, and that's gonna tell a lot. If you sweep Dallas, then damn it, throw a party because you don't want the business, and you probably go into the September game if you sweep Dallas. Mm-hmm. But if you lose both the games, that you're going to be a wild card and make this first round in the playoffs and be at home. So let's not get carried away overboard. So calm down like the Eagles right now. But they're not, they're not, above, they're not above reproach right now. You can talk about the why, Eagles. Why even post I see on Facebook when y'all talk about that? Like everybody hoping the man suspended or whatever. I don't wish <laughs> like, y'all wrong. I'm saying no, I don't, I don't wish y'all wrong. Right. Like, like people who don't play and stuff. It's the same. Like if people outside of the right there, they hoping, oh. That first thing I hear out of the fans who don't like that, Oh, Zeke ain't playing this part this Sunday. Zeke ain't playing. Zeke ain't playing. Y'all Without ain't Zeke, they wouldn't be Dallas. And they can't win the division. They definitely can't win the NFC without Zeke. So it's it important. Has, I don't hope he gets suspended, but let, I me, don't go know. Get suspended. But let me tell you what happened. He goes to down to the game. Well, they come now later. He should have took the sixth game in the season. 
you know, back back by the but I, I feel the man. No, he he say he ain't break the law. But he he the still law, but don't get certain suspended because he beat the shield. This ain't got nothing to do with the police, and I agree it's with the NFL. It's effed it. up. But guess who signed that damn collective bargaining agreement? The players. They gave it on all that. I mean, they gave it that all that damn. Jerry Jones, that's just man to get all that. All of them. That was hitting home. He's yeah. got a problem. So yeah. you can't. That's the main you thing. You know, I agree with you. The NFL should not have the power to circumvent the law. No, the NFL is a private entity. They signed a CBA that everybody signed. So he, the, there is the judge, jury, executioner. Guess what? It ain't going to change. You signed that paperwork. The player was too worried about not having two days instead of looking at the five contract that Ryan, the boy from ESPN, told him to. He didn't sign it because he's like, I don't like this. I don't like Roger getting had on his power. But yeah, guess much. what? The rest of the players, days, they all signed it. So guess what? You got to deal with this. But you know what? Centel Centel, baby, live on Facebook. Um, the Sensational One, Hood Jones, Zoe Patterson, man. This is this has been uh, another hot fire overreaction Monday. Great conversation. I will see you guys Thursday. You know what time is on Thursday? We're gonna preview them big college games, NFL games, Centel Sucker of the Week. You know, real news, fake news, my NFL power rankings, and so 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 much more. We will see you next time. You know, we are out. So, guys.